morning everybody we went down state for two days and we had a great time down there going to the farm and driving the tractors and had to stop at the John Deere dealer and they had a sale rack down there and I bought that steering wheel for 10 bucks couldn't don't know what I'm gonna use it for but that was a super price on a brand new steering wheel for ten dollars on the sale rack get they had a uh, some of these cute little planners two for ten dollars so I said for five bucks a piece, Deb said, oh man, she's got to get them. So we got those. And then I'll show you the progress on the, on the Braun 550. You can kind of see a little bit how the hood's going to be and how the cab's going to be. The, the front doors are angled in. This still has to be bent in here for more room to get into the door. And I got the rear plow, the rear plow sides done and roughed in. And then I got the tube. This is the, the guide for the tube that goes down and feeds the feeds the drainage tile down into the ground. So I got those four of those made. And yesterday, I, when we were downstate, I bought the chain and uh, got the chain. Both I got. Them. Both of those cut to the ground down to the right length. And then yesterday I made the two front pulleys for the tracks, idler pulleys, and uh, got those built. I, I cut four circles out, and then I cut a piece of inch and a quarter flat stock and put in there for insert so the track will go inside of it and roll inside. And uh, then that will go on a piece of 5 8 rod, and that will adjust. I'm not sure yet the, the total width after the tracks get put on, so I'm, I'm leaving this just like it is to be able to adjust it one way or another, and then I'll trim it. And I got the, the drive sprockets, and I got those hubs made. From, those are also 5 8 so they'll fit on the same 5 8 and also on that one will be adjustable once I decide how it's got to be for the track pads. And I think that was about, about it on that. And uh, I'm getting a lot of questions from people. I'm still getting over a thousand notifications every day. And a lot of people want to know different questions. Like some of them want to know where I start when I do the models. And I, usually I start, I usually start at the cab. And uh, then I set that down. This one here's a, a lot of cabs are more square than this. This one's going to be a little bit different because it's got the, the doors angled in. But I mostly start at the, especially when it's got tracks, I start at the top, work down. And uh, sometimes if it don't have a cab, if it's an open station machine, I would start at the bottom and work my work my way up. And if it's a tire, it's, if it has tires, I start at the tire, and get the diameter of the tire, and then I work my way up to scale. So everything looks exactly the right scale of that diameter of that tire. And then once I get the back tire scaled, then I have to find it to make sure I got the tire for the front, the right, the right diameter to match it. So it's got to look right. The tires have to look right. They're, they're very important, the tires. And let's see, what else was I going to say? Remember, Deb, anything? Mm, no. Uh, so how are we doing on time? Four minutes. We, oh, we got four minutes done? Okay. Okay, so I think I went down, we went down to mid-Michigan, mid and I, uh, the machine, the Braun 550, there were two of them. One of them was gone, but there was the other one, the green one was there, which was the newer one. And so I climbed on it and looked in the cab, and got detailed pictures inside the cab and uh, got some, a lot of pictures of the, of the plow. So I got a lot of details on that, a lot of movement, a lot of linkages. So I got pictures of all that. So I'll, that'll all be on the model. And I didn't flip any hoods open to look in the engine, but we'll go down in another time and I'll flip them hoods open, that's that's down the road a ways before I have to build the engine or the radiator or anything like that. But I did get all the details inside the cab, so I'll be able to build the inside of that cab just like the real one. 
and there's a spool on the front. There's a spool on the front that also, I think it, there's a hydraulic cylinder that moves that in and out for the, for the wraps, that the tiles wrapped around. So I got that. So I got most of the detail except inside the hood. So I'm still, I'm excited to do this. Now today what I'll probably work on is the sprocket, between, between the sprocket and the front idler pulley. If you see when you pull out on it, it's really saggy. So there has to be, there has to be idler pulleys or uh, bogey wheels that hold this up. Especially once the, once the track pads and the grousers and everything gets put on it that it really sags so that has to support it so so there's a long ways to go but i think i got maybe oh probably 15 or 20 pieces all kind of welded together now so i think i only got like 130 pieces to go so everybody have a great day and you know, be sure to visit my blog and my youtube channel and signing out